I said, I said, and so check tell me, go quiet, don't, you, I don't, don't promise anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, evaporation from soil, same type of phenomenon, but in a different context. I am hiding you a little bit thing because uh, I, I think that at this point we can uh, quite distinguish between transpiration and evapotranspiration among the mechanisms. I will try to, to tell you why and give you some directions. The experiment in, uh, in soil is that we have evaporation works at the maximum at the potential evapotranspiration during a certain phase in soil, when the soil is particularly humid, or at least for a certain time. And then, the more or less, the evaporation decreases exponentially. So it's called stage one and stage, stage two evaporation. At the beginning, I was not really believing in this. But when I saw this measurement from Danny Hall and his look at the pH of Zurich, I finally tried uh, sta uh, starting to believe it. This is in a very small controlled laboratory experiment. And what you see is that the evaporation millimeter per day remains constant for a certain while. And at the same time, the water goes down, goes down in the sample. And then, after a while, it decreases, which looks like an exponential decrease. What is going on in here? Uh, one thing is going on uh, is that the draw actually draw here. You see that there are uh, there are lines, pores that still bring water, liquid water, from the below part of water. Here is a uh, draw as saturated, but actually cannot. Uh, it's not necessary that it's saturated. It's necessary that uh, the liquid that the liquid phase is continuous. Until the liquid phase is continuous, and this liquid continuous phase arrives to the surface by capillary forces, that we are at the stage one evapotranspiration. With time, the number of pores that is uh, vaporating water up there is decreasing in size, but at the same time, a process of uh, more efficient use of the of the space uh, is performed. So, the number of the area from where is actually evaporating water from soil is decreasing. But uh, before, at the beginning, there is just uh, uh, the, at the beginning the. Uh, viscous layer above the soil is completely uh, saturated or so, then you have a more spherical distribution like this one of, uh, of water. As a result, even if the area is decreasing, if the area of the pore that are evaporating is decreasing for the certain uh, while, one uh, the, the, the geometry the ge geometry is supplied by a major flux around the pole. And that is how how evaporation works. Obviously it has to do also how the water happens in, in moves in, in, the, in the soil. Uh, for what we can say, if uh, we have the metric, the, uh, the full metric, we can say the water in soil moves through Richard's equations. And uh, according to the Moalem uh, discretization, meaning that water is extracted before from the biggest pore and then from the smaller pore, because water is obtained more tightly in the smallest pore. At the same time, uh, water is uh, the, when you take away water from, uh, when, but you say if I am evaporating from this apple here, assuming that I have a different type of pores on the surface, 
I am evaporate. All the, the pores are exposed to evaporation. The, small, the biggest and the and the uh, and the and the smallest. So all pores are evaporating. Someone will evaporate less according to their to their size. But at the same time, inside the apples, inside the soil, there is a redistribution of the water, which is refilling the small pores, which and empties the, the, the biggest pore. So the biggest pore are uh, decreasing their content more than fast, because the, uh, there is a double movement, suction from the small pores, and, and at the same time, <coughs> At the same time, uh, evaporation from the large spore. This, uh, this is a, a, a also a dependency on viscosity because the movement inside the, the porous medium is connected to the viscosity of, uh, of the liquid which is moving. If viscosity is uh, infinity, there is no distribution between pores. If viscosity is zero, if this is instantaneous the distribution between pores. So the microphysics of the, all this stuff is quite interesting and complicated. But the result, see, the, 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 this result is, uh, the result is this one. With various, various explanations on, on the geometry of the pores, which, which is, was given by Danny Hall and his collaborators, in particular, um, Lehman. But now we want to understand, so then, how we describe the, the movement in soil. This is just conjecture at this point, because the equations are there in the paper and are there from since more than 10 years. But to my knowledge, I don't know any implementation in models of it. So this is a, a, a suggestion of how it can work. Levan and Dor and Asuling also uh, decided that uh, stage one evaporation happens until what the, the water, liquid water <coughs> phase is continuous. And uh, this uh, continuity in the, the liquid phase between the surface and the liquid phase of the bulk water phase is maintained up to a level and see below the surface. And, and they found experimentally that this LC is connected mainly to two facts, to the characteristics of the soil, which are here expressed by this formula, which is all the coefficient A, alpha N are the Wagenukte uh, coefficients. And uh, the hydraulic conductivity uh, under partial saturation A theta. And also, there is a dependence on the how fast is the evaporative demand from the atmosphere, which is here 80 zero. So in principle, we are going, we are able, we calculate the demand from evaporation from the atmosphere. We are able to calculate the level until which uh, the, 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 the evaporation of stage one is happening. And then, then the, the, but, but for estimating how much is the depression of water, we have to introduce the mass, the mass bar explicitly here. We didn't have to do to with transpiration, with soil. This is not more. We cannot delay. So the better formulation for the last budget here is for my uh, reservoir guys is that uh, we don't deal actually with the uh, volume of water S, but uh, with the, the deficit of water, which I call C, which is the maximum maximum content of water you can have in your surface storage, and minus the actual content of water you have. And this is the equation where the, the sign here are reversed because the signal is negative because that is the, is not the S, it's not the volume that is increasing, it's the, the fresh, the, 
the depression of water, the deficit of water in soil, which is of increasing. In this increase with the vapor transpiration, demand, and in case or not. Which is a completely not implemented theory, so it's just a conjecture that it works, but is it like it should work in my, uh, having read the paper by, Le by Lema and all. And uh, 80 zero actually, the evaporation from the soil it is also depending on the soil, and the lemma and the guys gave us this formula here. So in principle, uh, we the description of water in soil movement it can be completely differentiated from transpiration. We can distinguish it. This type of laws actually for the upper part of evaporation still are valid the permanent heat equation. But here, in soil, you need to have to introduce the water budget explicitly. Never done before. And there is another thing that comes as a consequence, not exactly as a consequence, but the other big approximation we did for soil was that for the leaves, actually was that we could, could neglect the thermal capacity of leaves, but it's uh, unreasonable to think that we can neglect the thermal capacity and the thermal inertia of soil when accompanying this with the energy budget. So we have to go back, adding the, the water budget, the initial budget, and uh, uh, also we cannot use, we have to use a more complicated energy budget. We, take into account the thermal capacity of soil, which is still a thing which is even more complicated because the thermal capacity of soil depending depend on the on the material of which the soil are composed, but also the quantity of water which is in the soil. The soil is dynamic, dynamically coupled model. Not done before. Not consistent yet. And I think I am done here.